So chapter 12 of The Lean Startup is all about creating the conditions for innovation within existing large companies. How do you nurture entrepreneurship within an organization that already has an established business model and established products? Well, Eric Ries' answer to that question is that you can create innovation within your company by creating what's called a sandbox of innovation, a specified environment in which product teams can experiment, can run lean startup experiments involving the build, measure, learn feedback loop. And this requires three conditions to be fulfilled. And these three conditions are for that team to have access to a secure line of resources, for that team to have autonomy over what exactly to develop and how exactly to run through the build, measure, learn feedback loop. And finally, for that team to have credit for that innovation, to be able to have some sort of personal stake in that innovation. For product teams engaging in innovation, what's important is that the ground rules are set for experimentation and that a proper platform is created for running lean startup product experiments. And how you do that is you create cross-functional teams where there can be a concerted effort towards learning. The focus for these lean startup product experiments is not building things as quickly as possible or measuring as quickly as possible. It's on validated learning. Individual efficiency is not the focus. The purpose of having different departments and this product team is not so that individual efficiency can be maximized, is not so that people can be as busy as possible. It's so that everyone is on board with, with what exactly needs to be done to achieve validated learning. What needs to be done to the product in a very specific sense. This is in terms of what needs to be built, what needs to be measured, what needs to be learned from the customer how do we monitor customer reactions? All these questions need to be answered. The focus cannot be just on optimizing for the individual. The focus should be for optimizing for the entire lean product experiment. And how Eric Ries proposes that that can be done is through setting very specific conditions for ensuring that teams are actually working towards building a lean product experiment that is then run. So some of these conditions are, for example, having a specified time frame for that experiment and to having one team dedicated to specifically going through this experiment and to also have the option of quitting the experiment if it actually starts to affect the main line of business. Lots of conditions have to be met before a lean product experiment can be run within a large existing enterprise. But the point is it can be done with constraints. And once a product experiment is run, once a team does find out what needs to be built, then there are four phases that need, need to be followed through on before a product can be successfully launched. And those four phases are the phase of research and development where you're actually creating the product, the second phase of integrating that product into the company's existing strategy, and then optimizing that product for different iterations before then finally retiring that product. As you can see, as you probably know, this kind of product development cycle already exists within lots of different large companies that have launched different products that are slightly outside of their main line of business. So for example, SnapTax within Intuit, for instance. There are many other examples that you can really draw on. The point is this can be done. Entrepreneurship can be encouraged within an existing organization. There just has to be a very focused model for driving it forward. At the end of the day, when you're creating innovation within a large enterprise, given that the focus now for this large enterprise is probably individual optimization because certain conditions have already been met, a main line of business has been established, the challenge is unlearning those habits within the sandbox of innovation and prioritizing validated learning and going through the build, measure, learn feedback loop instead of focusing on individual efficiency. And that is the challenge when it comes to encouraging innovation within a large enterprise. So that's it for chapter 12 of The Lean Startup, and I will see you for chapter 13 summary, which is the final chapter within The Lean Startup.